Hey guys, Christian Babcock here of The Hunter's Advantage. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of one of Easton's most popular arrows for bow hunting ever, the Easton 5mm FMJ. So I've used the Easton FMJ for the last three seasons, shot them through over 10 different deer. I wanted to share with you what I like about the arrows, what I dislike about the arrows, and what I'm thinking for my 2022 arrow that I'm gonna take into the fall hunting season. And throughout this video, we are gonna be showing you kill shot evidence with different broadheads and different vein configurations. And we'll kind of wrap all of it up into just our thoughts about the arrow overall. Just to show you guys, I actually have used these arrows. Here's four different arrows that I've shot through animals that I have not used since. So still got blood, so I've got a bunch of matter on them. So before we get too deep into it, let's talk a little bit about the arrow and why I ended up switching to it. So five millimeter FMJ, it stands for full metal jacket. And this arrow has a carbon core with an aluminum jacket around that core. One of the reasons that I ended up switching to this is because it is a micro diameter arrow. It has a low profile. With being a micro diameter arrow, you would expect it to penetrate more because there's less surface area to drag through the animal as it's penetrating. Also, these arrows are very heavy in GPI or grains per inch. This one that I have here is 300 spine and it is 12.0 grains per inch. At a 29 and a half inch arrow, four fletch with just a regular knock on this thing and a 100 grain broadhead, it ends up being 525 grains. So before we get into the cons, and I do have some with this arrow, let's talk about some of the pros. One of the reasons that I switched to the five millimeter FMJ was because I was having issues with penetration on a normal carbon arrow. I don't know the exact reason that I was having penetration issues, but one of the things that I chalked it up to was my arrow isn't heavy enough. So I was shooting more in the 450 range of an arrow um, I think around 9.0 grains per inch. And when I saw this one at 12 grains per inch, I was thinking, man, I can really increase the weight of my arrow just by switching the shaft and not having to shoot a heavier broadhead. So that's what I ended up doing was switching to the five millimeter FMJ and hoping for better penetration. And I will say, if you hit a deer with this arrow, this is my 525 grain setup. I have had no penetration issues with these arrows. It seems like when you hit a deer, you're getting penetration with an FMJ. I don't know if you can really chalk that up to one thing. It might be the micro diameter, smaller, smaller surface area passing through the animal, or it might be just that I'm shooting a heavier setup and I'm more accurate year after year after year. So I'm hitting places that it should penetrate. Another thing that I have to compliment on the FMJ is these things fly really straight and they fly really smooth. I like to shoot a four vein configuration. It just feels like it flies a little more true and steers the arrow a little bit better. But man, these are heavy arrows, so they're not as fast. They took about 20 feet per second off of my bow. But when I'm watching them fly at longer distances, it just seems like they cut the wind super well. There's not a lot of wiggle when you're shooting at longer distances. It just seems like they cut the wind well and they fly really, really straight. And when you combine a straight, accurate arrow with weight, you're gonna get great penetration on deer. I have had no issues with penetration. I have countless different shots that I can show you guys, uh, ranging in distance from 20 yards all the way out to 40 yards where I'm getting complete pass-throughs on animals and, and it, that's in different shot configurations too. So it doesn't matter if the animal was broadside or quartering away. For the most part, I'm blowing through these animals and that's with a mechanical that requires more kinetic energy to open and pass through. So with a fixed blade, I'm sure you'd probably even have better success getting penetration on animals. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the pros. Fly true. They have a high GPI so you're gonna get better penetration. They're a micro diameter arrow with a slimmer profile, so I feel like it's gonna be easier to get pass-throughs and they're going to cut through the wind really good. 
I do have some cons that I wanna talk about for everyone that's thinking about buying these arrows, and let's get into those. So for as much praise as I gave the five millimeter F and J, I have to be honest with our audience about the cons that I've seen shooting these for the past three years. Like I said, I've shot these through 10 plus animals. I didn't even take the time to tally it up. It might be more like 15 or crap, it might even be 20. But me and a lot of my buddies kind of have a running joke about the FMJ, and that is the FMJs are great, but they're a one use arrow. It seems like about half the time that I shoot an FMJ through an animal, something goes wrong on the arrow that is not fixable. A good example of this is a funky buck that I shot last year right over my left shoulder right here. I have video evidence of me shooting this deer. The arrow penetrates almost all the way through, but as he takes a step, snaps the arrow in half. And you would think the, if the arrow was heavy and it was just a close shot like that, it would penetrate all the way through before you got, gave the animal time to snap that arrow. But anyways, this, might, this is just my experience. It seems like about half the arrows that I shoot through an animal end up breaking in some way. And that's pretty significant considering that these arrows can cost, in some pro shops, I've seen them get up to like $20 per arrow. I usually order them off of a custom arrow builder called Black Ovis. And I spent, I think, $240 on my last dozen of FMJs. So by arrow standards, they're not cheap. And so when they break often, and you see that aluminum breaking, you see it flower pedaling, that sort of stuff, it can get really frustrating because you know this might be just my experience. I'm not saying that this is the experience of everyone that shoots FMJs, but I can only speak to what's happened to me year after year. Like I said, I have piles of FMJs just laying in my garage that have broken while I've shot them. And I know I talked about the grains per inch being a benefit for people that want to shoot heavy arrows. If you're one of those people that kind of wants to find a little bit better middle ground, maybe nine grains per inch or 10 grains per inch, and you want an arrow under 500 grains, if you shoot any significant draw length, it's gonna be hard to keep that weight down. And most people might say, well, if you don't want a heavy arrow, don't buy these. Okay, fair play. But if you're one of those people that is planning on hunting out west and pushing those 85, 95, 105 yard shots, these arrows without a really long draw length and a really heavy draw weight are gonna be hard to get that much clearance out of your sight tape. For instance, I shoot a 70 pound bow, I shoot a 30 inch draw length. With this 525 grain, five millimeter FMJ, I get about 79 to 80 yards of clearance on average. So like I said, I've been shooting the five millimeter FMJ for several years now. This is just my experience. So take it with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. I'm just one guy. What I can tell you is if you don't mind shelling over a good amount of dough to get you a dozen arrows, these are a pretty good set of arrows. And if you're looking for penetration and heavy weight out of an arrow, this is a good option. This season, I'm gonna be trying out the four millimeter FMJ. And if you guys want me to do a review on that, make sure to drop that in the comments below and we can do that. There's a new arrow on the market called the Exodus MMT. I might give that a try this season as well, haven't decided. That's my review on the Easton five millimeter FMJ. I hope the kill shot evidence and I hope my experience over the last three years has helped you guys make a more informed decision when purchasing an arrow. And hey, if you've been with us a long time and you wanna check out some of our merchandise that I'm rocking here today, huntersadvantagemerch.com. We have hats. We have these new tan and green t-shirts that I think are awesome. They're next level. They're polyester and cotton. They feel great. So if you guys have been around a long time or you're new and you just want to check out some merch, make sure to go to huntersadvantagemerch.com. If you guys like these kind of videos from the channel, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a lot more of these videos and we got some really cool hunts coming your way on the channel. Stay tuned, hit the bell notification because we've got a lot more videos coming your way and we'll catch you guys in the next one.